Introduction Hello children, let us take up for discussion a topic closely related to our daily life. Your mother prepares poha for you and spices it up with green chilies. And you simply don't like green chilies. <laughs> what will you do? Obviously, you will carefully pick out every piece of chili before popping some poha into your mouth. A similar exercise is done by your mother when she is preparing to cook food for the family. You must have noticed her separating stones and other unwanted particles from rice, wheat and pulses before cooking them. Though some impurities and undesirable particles can be removed by hand picking, it may not always be the case. In many mixtures, components are not easily separable. In such cases, some other techniques of separation are used. We will discuss the different methods of separation of substances in this lesson. Most of the things that we use in our daily life are in the form of mixtures. Not every component of a mixture is useful. For example, some food preparations may contain a constituent that is not liked by us. We remove it to make the food item suit our taste. So, one reason for separation is removal of undesirable components. Similarly, we find stones, mites, etc. in rice, wheat, pulses, etc. We remove them before cooking because they are harmful to our body. So, the second reason for separation is removal of harmful components. When we churn milk, curd, we get two different but extremely useful products, butter and buttermilk. Thus, the third reason for separating the components of a mixture is to obtain pure and useful components. You sure would have some idea about the methods of separation. In fact, you would have used some of these methods in your day-to-day -day life. Let us list some methods commonly used to separate the components of a mixture. Hand picking, churning, threshing, winnowing, sieving. The basis for choosing a method of separation depends upon the physical properties of components. How does your mother separate small pieces of stones and other impurities from wheat, rice, and pulses. Yes, simply by picking them up by hand, one by one. The method of hand picking can be used for separating impurities that are easily visible to the naked eye and are present in small quantity in the form of dirt, husk and stone. This is butter. Do you know how butter is made? When milk is stirred vigorously in a churn, Butter is obtained. What liquid left behind is the tasty, nutritive buttermilk that is relished by many as a refreshing summer drink. Do you see that two useful components emerge from a mixture when this method of separation is employed? You must have seen bundles of wheat or paddy stalks lying in fields after harvest. Have you pondered how a farmer separates the grains from these stalks? Once the wheat or paddy crop is harvested, the farmer ties the stalks together to form bundles. He then leaves the bundles to dry in the sun. Once the stalks are completely dried, the farmer beats them against a hard floor to free the grains. This process of separating grains from stalks is known as threshing. Bullocks Oxen and machines known as threshers are also used for this purpose. During your numerous train trips down your countryside, you would have noticed women standing at a height, shaking a basket held over their heads continuously. They are separating the grain from the husk by simply allowing the wind to blow away the husk and other lighter impurities. The heavier grain falls down on the ground in a heap. This process of separating impurities from the grain by allowing a current of air to blow away the lighter impurities is known as winnowing. 
Children, have you seen how your mother removes bran and other impurities from flour? They separate the coarse bran from the fine flour with the help of a sieve. This technique of using a sieve to separate the solid components of different sizes in a mixture is known as sieving. In this method, the mixture is placed on the sieve and shaken. The smaller particles pass through the holes of the sieve to the container placed below and are thus separated from the bigger particles that are retained in the sieve. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. The separation of the components of a mixture is done to remove undesirable and harmful components and to obtain pure and useful components. Some common methods of separation of the components of a mixture are hand picking, threshing, winnowing, and sieving. Hand picking is the method used to separate impurities visible to the naked eye and present in small quantity. Churning refers to the process of agitating or stirring milk or curd to make butter. Threshing is the process of separating grains from stalks. Winnowing is the method of separating the husk from grains by allowing air through the mixture. Sieving is the technique of using a sieve to separate solid particles of varying sizes.